Alright, what's up Locker Nuts? If you're like us, we are huge fans of Stranger Things. So today, this video is going to kind of take you down that road. We're going into the upside down of the storage world. Alright, and what does that mean? Well, if you see this graphic, this is the normal world of storage buying where you want to seek out good lockers. This is the upside down where we're going today where you actually wind up buying the bad lockers. All right, and that's why this is uh, so appropriately called the I should have bought the other locker locker. You'll see what I mean in a second. Let's get started with the video. All right, it's Friday morning, April 6th. It's pouring rain today. Last night the Pineapple Express storm came in and it's just been dumping on us. It looks like it's starting to lighten up a little bit, but it's still coming down pretty good. So um, I'm out for some live auctions today at U-Haul. Well, so now we're down to two. I think there's only one unit at each. So not a lot of opportunity here. I'm just hoping that the rain and the cancellations keep the other bidders away. We'll see, we'll see. All right, just got one. There's only one to get and I got it but I'm sure I overpaid for it. I paid 170 bucks. It's a, I don't know what it is, five by eight, five by 10, something. Not, and, and there's some boxes in there. And I actually didn't even look that long at it. I just saw it put in my head, I'm gonna go 200 bucks. There's enough boxes there, I'll take a chance. The bidding was actually going out, starting out pretty slow, 60, 70, 80. I jumped in right about, I think, 80 or 90, I forget. Some guy took me all the way up there. But I'm headed to the next one now. There's only one there too, but it's not that far away and I actually like this facility. It's where I always rent my U-Hauls, so stay tuned. Yeah, I would've paid probably 34, 38. All <laughs> All right, we got unit number 5032. 5032 is a 10 by 10, $100 deposit on this unit here. We start my twenty-five dollar bid. Anybody? Give me ten. Where's that at? Here. I got ten dollar bid here. I got ten dollar bid leaving for twenty. Ten dollar bid over here leaving for twenty. Ten dollar bid leaving for twenty. I got twenty not thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred. One twenty-five. Yep. One fifty. One seventy-five. Two hundred. Two twenty-five. What size is it? 10 by 10. Okay. I got 225, 250. Yeah. 275. Yeah. 300. Yeah. 325. Yeah. No? I got $300 bid looking for 325. $300 bid over here looking for 325. $300 over here looking for 325. I got 325, 350. Yeah. 375. That's okay. I got $350 looking for 375. $350 over here looking for $375. $350 here looking for $375. Anyone else at $375? Sold your way, 350. Ah, uh, well, I didn't get one here. Kind of chickened out. I, they rolled it up, it was a 10 by 10. It looked pretty decent. I'm not sure, I tried to take a covert video. I don't know what came out, but if I got any of it, uh, I'll show it. It looked pretty decent. I mean, it had some furniture that looked definitely sellable. Um, but I saw at least three mattresses. I mean, I could see three mattresses and you couldn't see that much because it was stuffed full. It was a 10 by 10 stuffed full. And in my head, I was thinking 600 bucks. That's my number. I always hit that number in my head. Sometimes I go over, sometimes I don't come near it, but I always have that number in my head that I think would be worth going on this one. And I, I said 600. The thing went, uh, went for, I think, 325 or 350. So, yeah, I just, I was just... I hesitated because it is, a 10 by 10 stuff full like that is a tremendous amount of work. And I'm not scared to do the work. I just don't have anywhere to put it. And it's raining right now. And I just bought the other unit. So um, I don't know. I feel like I got to be careful with how much I take on. And 
but maybe I'm just being a chicken. <laughs> like the storage auction pirate says, scared money don't make money. We're scared money don't make money. And today I was scared money. So at least on that second unit. So anyways, I still got one today. If that feels good, I'm gonna go back. Um, but you always regret the ones that you didn't buy. I mean, I'd rather regret one that I bought, overpaid, whatever, um, than the ones that you don't get. Those ones, those are the ones you think about at night when you're going to sleep. So anyways, I'll head back and see what we got. Hopefully I got some good stuff at that one. But I wouldn't put my money on it, even though I guess I already did. All right, so just rolled open the door here. And this is what I bid on. <laughs> some of the other guys are looking at me like I was crazy. But obviously someone else was just as crazy because they were bidding right up with me. I yeah, can't really tell you what I saw here that was good. I don't know. There's a little monitor right there. That's not worth anything, but... And those boxes. Those boxes have me intrigued. So we'll see. Definitely looks like it's been gone. This is light. Feels like garbage. Pretty sure I just paid 170 bucks for garbage. No, I'm not sure. I'll have to see. Hmm. There's some Nikes. Good way to start the day. Charger cables. What that's for. Hmm. Alright. Oh, here's the other Nike. Got a pair. Here's my first good find of the day. Roll of garbage bags. I think I'm gonna need it. Alright, I just found something really cool here. Right there the stuff off there. Let's take everything in this box. There's that lamp, monitor, a couple of suits, Perry Ellis, and then this one is, uh, I don't know what that is, Eddie Doman, something like that. Yeah, actually, they look like decent suits. It's not too bad. Take this here down. Mountain Club. I don't know what, the, what that is. I'm not familiar with that. This one feels a little nicer. Let's see what's this. Volcom. Okay. That's actually a nice looking jacket. Hmm. And then here I saw some jerseys. What we got here? Miller. Looks like a Steelers jersey. That's cool. Roethlisberger. Roethlis Raper. Some hats. Okay, jerseys are good. I'll take that. What's this? I was about to say a Spider Man costume, but nope. MVP Sports. Turtle. Cool. No clue. Rock, I guess. Bender. Okay. 
inflatable bed. Loaded this truck. Guys, it's raining today. Stinks, but I did get it covered. Started going through it, but so far, oh yeah, this is not a good one. Uh, those boxes have mostly garbage in them. I'm not sure how much I'll film of this one because it's going to be pretty boring, but I really kicking myself. That other one went for 350 I should have gone 600 I mean, that was my number in my head, but I just got scared. Got scared to take it on too much. And uh, But all I've got left now is a bunch of crud and regret. So <laughs> now time to get to work. All right, just started going through stuff, and here's an odd find. A noose. Huh. I'm not sure if that was intended for whoever pays too much for this locker or if that was for the prior tenant, but uh, that one's going to go right in the garbage. Never found one of those before. All right, not too much yet to talk about. A bunch of hangers, a few garage sale items there, trash piles getting big, good amount of glassware here, nice mug here. It's kind of dirty though, sticky. Found another of these eye clickers. These seem pretty easy to sell. Unfortunately, these boxes, oh, the boxes were actually toast to begin with, but they got wet, even though I had it tarped. Jeez, that looks like a power cord for a laptop, perhaps. Maybe that's wishful thinking. Uh, these Nikes look a little bit more thrash, but we will also look those up. George Ty. Hopefully no one comments me and says, oh man, the George Ty is worth 60 bucks. Hang on to it. But no, I'm just going to throw it in the little tie bin I got going. That's a nice garage sale item. Fake, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't think I want to know. Ooh, a screwdriver. There's a bunch of DVDs, and I think some of those were in there. I'll put that in my DVD department. Nice looking little hole puncher. And what we got here? It looks like a Bible. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, some of these Bibles I've heard have value, but I didn't know. All kinds of these little pack packagings and things, like for cell phone cases and such. I mean, there's a lot of these. They're all empty. Ooh, that's nice. Dang, wish we found those in the PlayStation. That's cool. <laughs> that's old school. Look how humongous that thing is. What do we got here? A little battery pack that's exploded already. Two gigabyte. Envelopes. Yeah, I'll keep that. Actually, just the other day I was like, dang, when am I going to find some envelopes? I'm getting low. Hmm. What's this? Cuss, 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 cuss. Gangster films. That's strange. It's the second time I've got a locker recently where people were kind of like writing out a screenplay to their future movie. Make them famous. Make them rich. Well, I'm going to shut the camera off because this is not too terribly exciting. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, hey now. Hey now. Hey, nanny, nanny. Look at this. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh yes, it's working. Oh yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> 22 bucks, 24 bucks, 25 bucks, 25 bucks, 25 bucks. So there's 70 bucks in the box. There's nine of them, they don't work. 20 bucks, 28 bucks. Okay, so we got about 20 or 25 bucks right here. Well, probably 20 bucks after shipping. And you know what? I am happy with that. Because that is, so far, maybe the best thing I found. So I just found something that was super weird. It's a tooth. It's nasty. Okay, so I got a helper. Come help me. Hello. This locker nut right here. We got, what, one, two, three, Four more boxes to go. This I got excited because I'm like, oh, please be a PlayStation 3 in there. Uh, there's no PlayStation 3 in there. It's empty. So there was a bunch of paperwork in there. Got excited because that says coach. That means there's originally an expensive person there, but or something, boots, I don't know. Um, but they've written all over it. So I didn't have too high of hopes. I already peeked here, spoiler. But go ahead and take that out. <laughs> this is exciting. Do you know what that box is? Nice. 
Air Jordans. Yeah, Air Jordans. That's so, what it oh, is. pop the, and then what's that right there? That is headphones. Beats, though. Specifically, beats. that's Beats. Beats are money, okay? That's what I said. <laughs> so, let's see if there's any. This could be, this could save the day. This nice is, box, huh? What's that? No beans. I think they'd be right there. Wah, wah. That's too bad. Is, what do you think? Is there shoes in there? I do not think so. No. Actually, I, I, yeah. Okay. Dang it. I mean, okay, I wasn't, I wasn't completely off on this locker, right? Because, I mean, come on. The guy bought Beats, he bought iPhones. Coachella. He bought yeah boxes. Empty phone case. Three. Here's a jewelry box with no jewelry in it. Come on, dude. There's dirt. Yeah, that's going in the garbage. This looks just like the. Oh my goodness, this is like. How strange. This is the same chess set I just sold. What the heck? It's exactly like the chess set that I just sold. I sold the chess set just. Oh no, actually, it's not just like it. Because this is two things: the backgammon. And a chessboard. Oh, this is. Oh, it's got wet. Dang it! Right, I gotta dry that off. Yeah. Did I mention it was raining outside? It's just funny. You got two two chess sets. Like, you know. He is strong. Mm. <laughs> oh, this box looks fantastic. And it smells like rotten milk. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. Aska. Aska me what? How you doing? <laughs> we'll look that up later. <laughs> How much is it? Like Did someone draw that? Cards. Oh, we like that. Oh, is that a gift card? Um, I don't know. Please. And our gift card to Disney store. Store. Beauty and the Beast. All right. Let's see. Will any of these? No. Gloves. Oh, are you kidding me? There's a spot for a gift card, but Don't. it's gone. It was probably that. Probably that. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Oops. I got you. I'm with it. Oh. <clears throat> I don't want the house to sit on fire. Yeah. Fire. Fire. That's going in my lighter collection. You have a lighter collection? Boom. Yeah, but as soon as I put them in there, they disappear. Mm. Every time someone needs to light a candle in the house, they just come out here and loot my stuff. This is not entertaining for our viewers. We need a faster pace. Here is a... Hey, Dad, look at this. Oh, that's cool. And shoelace. I mean, it's not $170 good, but at this point, I will take anything. This looks like the back of a cell phone. Hey, guys, look. <gasps> Empty headphones case. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Serious? I saw this. I was like, okay, this is looking good. Oh. And there ain't nothing. There's a Nintendo game. Oh, it's Game Boy. Fist of the North Star. Here's a bracelet. It's grody. It's grody too. Grody. Corner. Here's a button. Guess. You have a guess? Uh, oh, okay. We will make $170. Oh, I would love to. Oh, and I won't this lose. This is my dream. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, kids' books are probably the only books that ever sell. So, I mean, if it's going to be books, I guess. What the heck? Who, who wrote on that book? Harry Potter book. What does it say? It says, Zion's Journal. Do not look inside this book. Oh. Throw this well, away? We're definitely going to have to look. Hey, I'm kidding. Well, <clears throat> definitely perfect. Perfect sword. Perfect gun. Perfect gun. What? This is basically just... Scribble, scrabble. Throw this away? Yeah. Bye-bye. A nice shoe. Uh, that's not that nice. We have the other one, though. Favorite <coughs> Dump it. Dump it. I'm going to have to stop the camera. This is pretty boring stuff here. No, it's not. It's not? Okay. 
No, look at this. This is... Yeah, I don't know. Boring. What about this? This says... Um... Okay, it's, next. It says... I know what this is because I put it in here. It's toilet paper. Useful, people. Useful. Hey, yeah, that saved us like 69 cents right there. Yeah! Where should I put it? Uh, put it right over there where we put toilet paper. Oh, and this is a sleeping bag. Spider Man. Garbage. No, what's it? You know what? what? <laughs> so you can't throw away Spider Man. What does he even do? Nothing. It takes batteries, so it does something. Oh, here's an on off switch. What are you talking about? Look at my mad skills. Uh huh. Look at your bad skills, is that what you said? I know. You ready? Set, go. Oh, oh yes! God. In your face! <laughs> That's what you get! Oh, these are still moist and ready to go. You put those up there? Put those up oh, on our fly rack? All the work. All the work. I basically had to buy you ice cream to get you to help me with the last three and a half boxes. We're going oh, to one box. Look at this! This box looks amazing! Looks better than it did. <laughs> they, what, but we went through the whole box. We pulled out like a Spider-Man. That's it. And two shirts. Everything else went in the garbage. This is not a good locker. I told you not to buy this one, Camille. What? Hmm? Look at the amazing box we found. How do you know it's amazing? I don't know. Ta-da! <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know this one. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like a mm. Tomb Raider. Raider. Just yeah, they're glued in the place. Garbage? Yep. Or maybe it's in a language. <laughs> is it used or not? Uh, Are you going to actually do some more? Ooh, that's Whoa. actually nice. Whoa! These people are good. Well, don't forget, it's tracing paper. So they trace it. Oh, that was cool. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, mm. That's a yearbook, I think. We probably should give it back, but um, hey, I'm kind of pissed that <laughs> this person took all the good stuff out and left, basically left the garbage for someone else to to do something with. Oh, that's what that's for. Okay. Hang on. Hang on to that. <laughs> ba ba boom. -ch. I'm not putting my mouth on that. Yeah, me neither. I'm filming the cat because that's actually more interesting <laughs> than watching you go through stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Teen Study Bible. Does this have a barcode on it? Mm, yeah. Alright, we'll scan that. Holy Bible! $30 book. Hey, now there's a... <clears throat> Holy moly. No, it's holy bubble. <laughs> I have this. Ooh. That looks nice. Are those real diamonds? Oh, wait. Yeah, I already looked in this bag. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool, though. Hmm. When you show them what's in there. Someone might buy that. Is this Jesus? Yes. Jesus Christ. What would you say? It's a Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. What is this? Is it real? Yes. I it is? I think. Looks real. Huh. Well, let's put that aside. And then there's... Oh, rocks. I hmm. think this has to do with it. That's a fossil, too. What the fuck? Oh, dang. That's actually pretty... Whoa! Ooh, that's pretty. Hmm. Nice rock. You gotta watch. Edison. Hey, Camille. Should we check and see if there's any poop marks in there? Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Looks clean. Whew. Finally. We got a pair of workout shorts with no poop in them. Um, that's probably a pillowcase or a sheet or something. Pretty much this locker was a bunch Garbage? of sheet. <laughs> 
I'm, and I'm about to hit you with the sheet. Don't give me that sheet. <laughs> what is that? Huh. Yeah, uh, okay. This is hard to do with one hand, but it's inside out, but it's got some kind of logo on it. Shirt. I'll put that aside. Scratch out a few bucks on these clothes. Not the way I like to make money, though. I'm scratching here to try to get us back to even. Steve. Can we wrap this up a little quicker? I'll grab you up. Oh, is that a threat? Yeah. Hmm. I'll just take your bubble wrap over there. <laughs> Look how much bubble wrap. <laughs> yes, viewers, that's all those white bags are full of bubble wrap. Why do I have all those bubble wraps in my Miata? Because we have a neighbor that gets excess of bubble wrap and posts it free on next door and I am so happy to take it off her hands because I go through a lot of bubble wrap at least I usually go through a lot of bubble wrap except okay I guess this person worked at DoorDash a couple DoorDash shirts um actually these are extra large Camille and they look like they're brand new if I wear these and people think I work at DoorDash they're like <laughs> Yay, Camille, your dad's finally got a real job. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How about this? I just take off my hand and then replace it. Replace your hand with that? Like Captain yeah. Hook? I could just go like this. I wait. And then you say, it's raining outside, so it's time for a shower hook. Get it? Shower hook? Is it <laughs> raining showers? That's... No? No. Cricket, cricket. <laughs> Train. They're a good band. Bye. Wait, is that? Wait, what is it? No, that's T Pain. <laughs> I don't know what that is. My job's done. Goodbye. Thank you so much for all your help. I paid you in ice cream and potato chips, Cheetos. It's called Cheeto Puffs. Cheeto Puffs. Get it right. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of funny. I just opened this box of envelopes. I was like, oh, it's been a long time since I got envelopes. And I look in here and I pull this out. It's like, oh, there's some stamps. Nothing wrong with those stamps. Um, but what's kind of funny is that they're 32 cents. They haven't had 32 cent stamps in a long time. But you know what? These are still good and that's still money. You know, some days you just get hungry. You're hungry for a locker. You're hungry to go through something to, you know, get that excitement and mystery and adventure. And you wind up buying something that you really should have taken a pass on. And that was this day. I spent too much money buying that garbage locker. I mean, this is what we call a tossed locker. The guy went through it already, took what he wanted to take and left the rest. Um, you know, right after I bought it, one of the other bidders actually turned to me and said, why'd you do that? And I said, you know what? I really don't know. I don't have an answer because I didn't even at the time. Um, but then the real shame is that the next place had a good locker. That was a nice looking full unit, complete household. But you know what? Here we are 10 or 11 months later. I'm still regretting that decision. Um, but this is part of the business. So I was bent on getting every penny out of this thing so I could break even and do a little better but it was more of an issue of pride than profit on this one so but I'll, it did come out all right I'll show you here we go let's take a look at the profit and the bottom line all right first we've got that desk that was the largest item in the unit and we sold that for $25 locally it was a pretty nice shape next are those Nike shoes those did sell on eBay it took a while but sold for $23.99 the chest said I'm getting to be fond of these because I've got a few of them uh, in my career and they sell pretty easily locally this one for 15 bucks this Dynex monitor slash TV so I got 40 bucks for that and the reason I did was because it is a TV it does have speakers in it and you can hook it straight to HDMI um, nice little unit 40 bucks the children's books again the only books that I seem to sell easily ten dollars local this mirror, also easy local sale, 10 bucks. Spider-Man mask, so we figured out what this thing does. You put batteries in and you mount it to the wall and it lights up like a nightlight. 
uh, that one sold on eBay for $23.99. Last but not least is that Volcom puffer jacket. This was a really nice jacket. It did take a while to sell, basically through all summer, and then when it started getting cold again, that's when it got scooped up for $39.99. So all in all, we had $170 invested with the tax, and there was a dump fee on this one, $195 into it. That was about $100 too much, maybe $150 too much. But we squeezed out some money here, the stamps, blah, 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 blah. Total sales, 277 You know what? That leaves us with 82 bucks, Cash money profit, and I'm thankful for that, although I'm not all that proud. <laughs> Return on, on investment of 42%. All right, so I didn't have 11 there to save me from making a horrible purchase, uh, but at least I didn't find any demigorgons in the unit. But I did miss out on probably a pretty good locker in the process. But um, you know what? So what? It was a good day. I had some fun. Got to go through a locker with my daughter. Made a few bucks. <laughs> um, but mostly learned another lesson. You know, uh, like the storage pirate says, as I mentioned earlier in this video, scared money don't make money. And uh, you gotta you gotta be willing to risk it. And that's what I did today, but unfortunately I pulled the trigger on the wrong one. But that's alright, because next time hopefully I'll be wiser, smarter, and better, uh, but time will tell. It's not always going to be. But I really do want to say that I appreciate you watching this video. I have a lot of fun making it. I hope it's fun to watch. Hit the subscribe and the notification bell. You'll be alerted when I put new content up, and we've got new content coming. So uh, that's the one good thing about this rain is I got some downtime to put out these videos. So thank you so much, alright? So until next time... Good luck to you. God bless you, and we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.